Once upon a time, there was a typical American girl who happened to bump into a typical red-blooded American boy. And she bumped into him and bumped into him. <laughs> so they decided they'd better sit down and talk this over before they had an accident. They became good friends. They found they had a lot of interests in common. Radio. <laughs> television. Trains. <laughs> And when the boy found the girl attractive, desirable, irresistible, he did what any red-blooded American boy would do. He asked her to marry him. They had a typical wedding, went on a typical honeymoon, in a typical bridal suite. Except, it so happens that this girl is a witch. And the gush be farmone to em sarvar. Oh. I must have gone further into orbit than I thought. <laughs> This has to go to the cleaners. I had a lot to tell you last night, but you'd already gone to bed. How is that sofa for sleeping? Oh, breakfast is ready. That looks delicious. Uh, any butter? If not, uh, don't uh, bother. <laughs> you know, if, if I didn't know better, I'd think this was last night's. Uh, but uh, that's a great way to economize, Sam. <laughs> Sam, no matter what your mother told you, that was a business dinner, and I didn't lie to you. Now, I just didn't want you to get... All worked up over nothing, that's all. <laughs> Son, you're getting all worked up over nothing. It was old Larry's idea. He's dying to get Sheila's father's account to replace the Webley account. And uh, we were supposed to have dinner with uh, old man Summers last night, but uh, Sheila showed up alone, and then Larry, well, a wise guy, he went off and left. Well, I just called him, and I told him what I thought of him. Uh, what's more, I informed him that you and I were not going to show up at Sheila's dinner party tonight. She invited us? Yeah, uh, so that Larry and I could uh, meet with old man Summers. Uh, well, Darren, I don't blame you for being annoyed with Larry, but do you think it's fair to run out on him now? In spades. I don't like the whole thing. I'd much rather pitch my new concept at Webley Foods than subject you to any of Sheila's little games. Uh, yeah, but you see, Darren, that's just the point. If we don't show up, that's, that's an admission that I'm afraid to face her. Well, actually, I think she's rather interesting. In a creepy sort of way. <laughs> You're wrong. I don't hate her at all. Sam, you know that's a lie. 
It is not. Well, but I'll admit it's not the whole truth either. <laughs> Um, what kind of gravy is this so I can tell the cleaner? I wish Major Healy would return right this minute so I could find out when my birthday is. But he will not be back until next week, so I suppose I shall just have to wait until then. <laughs> Florida Tech just scored a touchdown. <laughs> Master. It is such a beautiful day out. Let us go for a drive. Hey, they just got the conversion. How about that 14 to 13? Sensational game. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh. Well, what'd you do that for? Master, is football more important to you than I am? Oh, of course not, Jeannie. I mean, how, you, how can I compare you to football? It's like trying to compare lemons and oranges. And I am the lemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Aren't you interested in football? Oh, I am interested in you. Master, hmm? let us go on a beach picnic. I will prepare a banquet for you, all of your favorite dishes. Yeah, well, uh, tonight there's a football game on television I'd very much like to see. I'll tell you what, after the football season, I'll take you for that picnic. You will not. Why not? Because then baseball season starts. <laughs> oh, well, perhaps I should find a master who appreciates me more. Hmm? Oh, you couldn't. Oh, yes, I could. In fact, I think I have met him already. Oh, good. Mm. Yes. I met him this morning when I went shopping at the uh, uh, supermarket. Oh, good for you. He's very handsome. Good for him. And tall and strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah, w what's the name of this tall, strong stranger? His name? Mm-hmm. Uh, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Millionaire. Oh, 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 come on, you gotta do better than that. You do not believe me. Oh, oh Jeannie, I, I'm, I'm just not the jealous type, that's all. <laughs> I wonder who that could be. You'd think everybody else would be listening to the game. <clears throat> dropped your gloves. Oh, where did the lovely lady drop her gloves? Oh, in the supermarket. <laughs> Here you are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> My goodness, I feel just like Cinderella. That was shoes. Are you, uh, free tonight? Oh, yes. I was planning on going on a beach picnic, but it has been called off. Major Nelson is very interested in football. Oh. As a player or as a spectator? Oh, uh, just as a spectator. Yeah, that's nice. I was fullback at Notre Dame for two years. I left when I got a Rhodes Scholarship. I went to Oxford. Oh, is that not exciting? <laughs> yes, exciting. Well, I'll see you at seven. Oh, that will be lovely. <laughs> uh, she's not going. Oh, but why not? Well, because nice young ladies don't go out with men and pick them up in supermarkets. Isn't Jeannie over 21? <laughs> Boy, is she over 21. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're not married, uh... Anything, uh... No, no, we're not married or anything. Major Nelson is just like an uncle to me. Well, seven o'clock. Uh... <laughs> oh, good night, uncle. Is he not everything I said he was, Master? And less. You're not going out with him. Oh, but why not? Because he's... Because he's got shifty eyes and he's a hand kisser. How did he find you anyway? Oh, I gave him my address. <laughs> you what? Enjoy your football game, Master. I'm so pleased that you are not the jealous type. I think that I'm in love. Oh! Hey, 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 what? So, thou art the new slave. They told me you were not right in the head. It'd be true. <laughs> it is not so. I'm perfectly normal. They told me you come from a far-off country. Yeah, they don't know how far off. <laughs> how did you get here? 
I can't tell you. Why not? Because you'd think I wasn't right in the head. Oh, peel me a grape. <laughs> oh, don't be silly. <laughs> hey, watch the shirt. <laughs> ah! <sighs> you really know how to hurt a fella. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm sorry about all this. I, I really don't even belong here. Uh, I don't even have a visa. <laughs> You're looking for a crack in the mouth. I do not stand for insolence in my slaves. Now, wait a minute, lady. Let's get something straight. Ah! <laughs> I am not your slave. I happen to be an officer in my government's Air Force. Air Force? Yeah, well, look, let's not go into that right now. Look, all I want to do is get out of here. I, I lost a friend of mine, and I, I simply want to go and search for her. Oh, that's your trouble. You were preoccupied with women. <laughs> Well, I have someone who can take care of that. Oh? <laughs> I have been searching everywhere for thee, son of a jackal. He needs to be tamed. See to it. Oh, with great pleasure, Princess Fatima. Now, I wouldn't do anything I'm going to be sorry for. Tom. On your feet. Now, oh, listen, if there's anything I can't stand, it's a bully who hits women, son of a pig. <laughs> and there's more where that came from, chum. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I ask thy permission. Let me break him in pass with my bare hands. You have my permission. Oh, I don't think you're gonna break anybody in half with your bare hands. Okay, Jeannie, get him. Luncheon, your highness. Now, come on, Jeannie, stop fooling around. I, I mean, this is you, is it? Now. <laughs> I came as quickly as I could to tell you the news. Oh, Mama, I can hardly wait for you to meet your new son-in-law. Oh, my dear. Now, what does he do for a living, my daughter? Oh, he flies through space, Papa. From this, he makes a living? <laughs> he is most clever. When will the wedding take place? Oh, at once. Oh. I wish you could have seen him attack Ali and risk his life for me. Oh. <laughs> Our ancient proposal custom. You shall be married here in your house. I'll make the wedding arrangements now. <laughs> oh, I shall go tell him, Papa. Oh, he'll be so thrilled. <laughs> Think about it. It's almost ready. I'm sorry I was detained, Master. But, Jean, where have you been? I have been preparing for my wedding. The, your wedding? Oh. Oh, sure, you're back home now. And you want to settle down, get married? Are you not pleased? Oh, sure. It's the best news I've ever heard in my life. And you'll make someone a wonderful wife. Oh, I shall try very hard. It's a big day for you, isn't it? For both of us. Yeah, for both of you. Oh, it will be a beautiful wedding. Well, I wish I could see it. <laughs> well, oh, say, good. it's all right. Come. <laughs> this is Nelson, flyer through the moons of space. And this is my mother. Oh, how do you do, ma'am? Pleasure. And this is my father. How do you do, sir? Will you excuse us? I uh, think we should go attend to our other guests. <laughs> All right. That's quite a wonderful girl you have there, sir. Oh, idiotic, am I? Well, let me tell you something, Sam. She's here. Well, at least she didn't fly down the chimney. Now, if you're going to be insulting... I'm sorry, Sam. I... I didn't mean to say that. It's just that... Well, I'm nervous. Will you answer the door, or shall I? I'll answer it. Ask her to leave her broom outside. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Won't you come in? 
Samantha. This must be, what's his name? Mother, this is my husband. This is... There. Oh, we were just having a drink. Would you care for a cocktail? Thank you, Mr. Stevens. Well, I'd like it much better if you'd call me by my first name. Oh, very well, Dennis. <laughs> Darren, Mother. Oh. oh, of course. I'd like a very dry martini. Italian vermouth, Spanish gin, and a Greek olive. Well, I don't think we have any. Uh... Oh, don't bother. I'll fix it myself. <laughs> It's marvelous. <laughs> marvelous. Now, young man, suppose you tell me all about yourself. What you do and why do you do it? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Well, I'm in the advertising business. I'm with a firm called McMahon and Tate. Really, isn't that interesting? Oh, pardon me. Uh, do you have a cigarette? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Thank you. You were saying? Our firm handles some rather large accounts. Thank you. I have a light. <laughs> Mother, Darren's firm is one of the largest advertising agencies in the world, and Darren's one of its top executives. That sounds very exciting. <laughs> Samantha, may I have that ashtray, please? Oh, yes, certainly. And Darren is responsible for all of the creative designs for their campaigns. What on earth did you do that for? Uh, do what? You carried that ashtray to me. <laughs> Don't tell me you've forgotten how to levitate. Oh, of course I haven't forgotten, Mother. It's just that Darren prefers that I don't do any of that stuff anymore. Why do you object to my daughter being herself, young man? I don't object, Mrs. You'll never be able to pronounce it. <laughs> just call me Endora. <laughs> I like Samantha the way she is, Endora. She doesn't need any of that other nonsense. Nonsense? Darren doesn't mean anything. Darren, please. I mean, we don't need those powers of hers. Uh, we can handle things very well by ourselves. Oh, you think so, do you? Now, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but we want to live normal lives. What is normal to you, young man, is to us asinine. <laughs> Samantha is what she is, and that you cannot change. Mother, I made the decision myself. Yes, I know. A decision I do not approve. Samantha and I can handle our problems by ourselves. They're nobody else's business. Darren, please. Are you threatening me? Not exactly. Darren, please understand. Mother means well. Don't you worry, my poor baby. Your mother will see to it that you're treated properly. I have every intention of treating her properly without any help or interference from you. Young man! Mother, don't! Very well. Just consider yourself lucky that you are not, at this moment, an artichoke. <laughs> so from now on, watch your step, young man. Mother is watching you. <laughs> She's really very nice when you get to know her. <laughs> Snap out of it, Jeannie. Jeannie, Jeannie, will you snap, snap out of it? Yes. Yes, this is the moment you've been waiting for all your life. Now, will you get up there? Yes. Yes. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, good. Oh, so we're ready now, Reverend. I hardly believe it. <laughs> do you, Anthony Nelson, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. I do. <laughs> do you promise to be true and a faithful husband? To care for her in sickness and in health? Adversity and prosperity, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her as long as you live? I do. Do you, Jeannie, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do.
Do you promise to be a true and faithful wife? To care for him in sickness and in health, prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him as long as you live? Oh, yes, I do. You may place the ring on her finger. Then, by the power vested in me by the laws of this state, I now pronounce you man and wife. Oh. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. Kermit's changed. Changed? Yeah, it's just been a few weeks, and he's... Well, I don't know. He's acting like a... Married man. <laughs> you know something, Sam? Hmm. Love can cast almost as powerful a spell on a man as witchcraft. I'll let you in on a little professional secret. It's a lot more potent than anything we can conjure up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go again. Honey, I'm sorry. Honey, couldn't you have found a safer place for it? This was bound to happen again. Well, I thought it would be all right. Would you do me a favor? Hmm. Would you put it back together again? I thought you didn't like me correcting mistakes that way. Well, I'm making an exception. Will you please put it back together again? <laughs> all right. Would you like me to do a little magic? You? Magic? What'd you have in mind? Something that you'll like, I think. Be my guest. <laughs> well, what do you know? It worked. That's one you can count on. It'll work every time. <laughs> 